freaks and germaphobes, what is up you guys? Today I am going to show you how to get your stovetop clean, like perfectly clean. And I say that because the stovetop is a tough surface and a lot of times because you get grease that gets cooked onto the stovetop again and again, it gets really hard to get off. And if you were like me, when you go to clean it off and you scrub as much as you can and you can't get it all the way off, you end up just saying, you know what? Uh, that's good enough. But can you imagine if we said that with other aspects of our lives? Eh, that's good enough. It's good enough. But honestly, I finally got tired of never seeing it totally perfectly clean. So it got to the point where that's good enough was no longer good enough. So I decided to try out my method that I use to clean my stovetop grate and also my oven itself. And you know what? It totally worked so wonderfully. So I'm gonna show you that today. But then I thought, you know what, no. If you have followed our channel at all, you know that we like to test different methods to find out not only what works, but what works the fastest and the greenest and with the least amount of scrubbing. So I'm also gonna try out a couple of different methods to see what works the very, very best. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we're about cleaning and organizing and disinfecting, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So last night, I started our greasy stovetop cleaning test with four of my burners. In the first one, I sprinkled baking soda and added two tablespoons of vinegar and added a few drops of Liquid Dawn. In the second burner, I just put two tablespoons of ammonia and then covered it with saran wrap. I cover the ammonia because the strong fumes from the ammonia play a role in breaking down the grease. In this grate, I put Easy Off Fume Free in the burner. I chose to try this because Janet has tested and shown this to be the best one for deep oven cleaning. And I'll link to her video so you can check that out. And finally, in this fourth burner, I put Zep Degreaser. I really don't have a control burner, so this isn't too scientific, but it'll give us a really good idea of what works. But to be fair, last minute I decided to cover all burners with saran wrap too, just to keep things equal. So at this point, all of these have been soaking all night and all morning. So I'm gonna wipe down each of these burners and see which one comes clean the best. If I have to scrub anything, I'll know how much and how hard, because remember, the less scrubbing, the better. So to fill you in, ammonia was the cleaner that I used originally to clean that first burner that worked so well, but honestly, I was really hoping that one of these other methods would work better because it's such a strong odor. I have to wear gloves when I'm using it. I don't like to use it around my kids and I don't even like to use it right now because I'm pregnant, but I have to admit the ammonia was better, quite a bit, I felt. Second place though, definitely is the Easy Off Oven Cleaner, the fume-free oven cleaner. And I like that one so much because it really is fume-free. I couldn't smell it at all when I was cleaning it. So I think that if I had to choose and I had a small mess to clean, it wasn't a big, greasy, horrible mess, I think I would choose the Easy Off Oven Cleaner over the ammonia just because I, then I can avoid the toxic fumes, but it didn't clean it quite as well as the ammonia did. I'm gonna spend a few more minutes here. I'm gonna clean up the ammonia one and I'm gonna clean up the Easy Off one because I think those are gonna clean up nice and easily. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to clean the other grates that I use with those other cleaners because they didn't really work at all. I'll probably put the easy off in there let it sit overnight and finish that job tomorrow but I'm going to show you how well these two clean up with just a little bit more scrubbing I think they'll come off really well I hope they do so I'm going to give you a little bit better close-up of how these things turned out this was the baking soda and vinegar honestly I don't think it worked very well at all and it's left a film that I'm going to have to go and clean off now this is the ammonia which I have to say I am very impressed. This is the Easy Off Oven Spray. And I think it did a pretty good job too. And then this is the Zep Degreaser. I don't feel like it did a very good job at all. Now, I am not focusing on this part of the burner at all or this up here. Those are probably a different video. These are a little bit different to clean. So don't think, of, don't look at that at all because that's not what I'm focused on. What we're looking at is this area down here. So you can still see there's quite a bit of that grease caked on here. So that concludes this video. So number one is ammonia 
as far as effectiveness, but if you wanna go a little bit greener and not such toxic fumes, I would go with the Easy Off Oven Spray. Make sure to use the fume-free kind. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I'm glad that I did this. Now I know what really, really works. I think a key is to, let, to letting it sit overnight. I know that definitely is the case for ammonia. With Easy Off, really, I think you could get away with letting it sit for just one hour. That's what the instructions say on it. So hopefully that helps you. If it does, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with those that you think that could use it too. Be sure to hit subscribe. Up next, I will show you how I cleaned my grates using ammonia as well. Click on that video and I will see you over there.